Hello everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. The butterfly wings lift really up but underneath, I don't know if you'll see it, there's also another butterfly. So, I'm going to show you how i done it. Quite easy. So to make this card, we will need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth. If I can open it, I've folded in half and burnished, which has already been done. <coughs> and I've got <coughs> two pieces of white cardstock, at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and a scrap piece as well. So we need two bits of that to do. The stamp set I'm using is Beautiful Day. I can't tell you if it's been retired or not. Let me have a look. I've got the catalogue at the back of me. Um, just look in there. Beautiful Day. Oh no! It's done in the catalogue. It's been carried over. So we're going to use the butterfly. On this one I put sending you lots of love because this was a get well card but I'm going to make it a birthday card so I'm going to use that centre, just the happy birthday not the bit underneath. So that's what we're going to use. But first of all we need to use the brayer to get this effect. No, first of all we need to heat emboss the butterflies. So going to grab our bits of paper because we've got to do it twice. We also want our embossing body and give the card a really good rub. And do that one as well even though we only want the middle on this one. our Versamark ink and our butterfly stamp. I'm going to stamp that up really well. I think that'll do. Right, this is going to be our... So we want to stamp that right in the middle like that. And yeah, that's nice. Right, and then we want to do it again on here. Don't need to be straight on that one who will be cutting this one out when we've done it and then with a scrap of paper and I've got some clear embossing powder here so we will Sprinkle on our clear embossing powder. Just see if I can get some more of that in there. That's lovely. Yep. And do the same with this one. Nice as well. Put this away. I don't use clear embossing powder very often. That is why it's not in a tub. Oh, that's 
one thing I hate about embossing pad, it goes everywhere. Right, get rid of that. Now we have to heat emboss them. So I should put that on to heat up. That's that one done. And that is that one done. Keep to the side a minute. Not lumpy paper now. And then this one will work on this bit now. So what we need to do now is get some post-it notes and just post off around the edges. It's a post-it note stuck at the side of me, so I'm just posting off what quarter of an inch all round. Hopefully, it's straight. I know these don't reach, but I've got a half a strip here for this bit. As you can see I've got that down like that try putting this on the right way and with our brayers two brayers here and our inks we've got Highland Heather and petal pink. So I'll do Highland Heather first and with our brayer we'll pick up the Highland Heather and I can see the middle of my butterfly and I don't want to go past this mark so I am working my way onto the paper and I've come to the halfway mark. And as you can see, the butterflies come in through really nice. I'm not going to do it as dark as I did the other one, I'm going to just do it a bit lighter. do that one and we'll put that away for now uh, we're going to do this one a 
load up the brayer. Start on the scrap and over we go and do that all the way up till we meet the Highland Heather. See if I can get rid of them lines. That will do that. Put that away for now. Take these off. And we'll put that to one side because we're finished with that bit for now. We've just got the sentiment to add. We'll bring in the other one. Right, on this one, we are going to watercolour it with a wash. Um, I've not watercolored on camera before, so what I do, I'll get rid of all them, is get my ink, get a block, just a little block, and I dip it in the ink, and I use that as my palette. I get a bright paintbrush. And I've got some water at the side, a piece of kitchen roll, soak my brush and then dip it in my ink and then I'm just going to just rub it over the image. I'm going to have to do it a few times. because this colour is light when it's watered down. You don't want your paintbrush too wet because we're not using watercolour card. So pick up some more ink. Wet my brush again. Pick it up and do it again. You don't want to do this, you could um, um, use your brayer over it or a sponge. That makes it lighter than what it is. So I need to go over again. What I might do actually, do this again. What I might do is leave that to dry a bit while I do the other side and then come back and do that again. So wash that off, close that and bring in my Highland Heather. You got it all over my top then. Pick up some ink, get a paintbrush which is absolutely soaking wet now. Pick up the ink and take it down. just 
colour that in. Right, get some more ink on there. I mean, you can use a watercolour brush, you know, aqua brush, but I can't control the water on them, so that is why I don't use them. Every time I try to use one, everything ends up soaking wet. So I prefer doing it this way, with a paintbrush. And then you can wet your paintbrush and dry it off and you can control your paint. Right, another thing I can do, get another brush. This is a uh, number two is get some more ink wet my brush pick up some ink <clears throat> and then just go around the edges and brush it in just so it highlights it a little bit just I don't know if I'm doing this right or wrong it's just whatever you want to do quite nice. I'll do the same with the um, petal palette. Got a um, colour. Oh, colour went right out my head. All my nails are disgusting. I've broken up. I think I must have broken every single one of them this week. chunk of one yesterday at the hospital. I was visiting my sister. She had a stroke, bless her. So just rub it in, not rub it in, blend it in. And my sister had a uh, stroke on Friday, I think it was. She lost it. Oh. She lost the use of her right side of her body. But she phoned me this morning to say that um, we had her up walking in physio today. Which is good. She's older than me, this sister. Not much, only two years older than me. I 
Make a bit more ink up there. Um, yeah, she's had a hard time with it. Oh, I think that looks all right. Oops. Do this one. Quite happy with that. Clean my brush. And close this up. Won't be needing that anymore. Clean me block. Quite handy them blocks. Alright, we'll leave that to dry while we do the sentiment on here. Right, I've got my happy birthday block and I've got my Highland Heather and Petal Pink um, marker pens. So this is going to go down like that. So I want Highland Heather that way and Petal Pink that way I think. Is that what I do? No, it's the other way around. Silly person. So quickly wipe that off. So petal pink. I could have done it the other way but I don't think petal pink will show on the Highland Heather. So, colour in the word, happy. Then colour in the word birthday in um, Highland Heather. Don't want to get that word underneath. it all. Well, I hope I've got it all. And bring that down. You can still see. And I've huffed on it. And down we go. Just see that happy, happy birthday. So what I'm going to do, I am going to cheat and just draw in the curls. There we are. That would have worked better. This stamp here was photopolymer, so I think this would have worked better if it was photopolymer and you can actually see what you're doing, or use the stamp -a jig Right, with this one, sorry about that, phone went, so I had to answer it. Right, where did we get to? Oh, yes, what we're going to do now is cut this butterfly out. So I'm cutting it on the um, embossed edge. 
not leaving any gaps. Quite easy, hard to see rather. Right, don't need to worry about the antennae because they're already on the card. Finish off cutting out this nicest little bit. Cut out his tail, no, body. I don't know what part of it is. stick that like that on there but first of all we want to put this on our card base so with some glue and a pin to unblock it because no doubt it's blocked Because it's embossed, I am adding extra glue. I don't usually glue the middle. Right, and pop that on like that. Extra glue will help it lay flat. And then with the body, we're going to just fold up the wings either side of its body. And we're going to place that down there. So I haven't cut that very well. I can still see. Purple. That's better. And we place that on there. So, want to glue the body down. going to move so I have to wait a minute for it to hold It's gluing on top of um, what's it gluing on top of? Embossing powder. Oh. Right, I'm going to get a tiny dimensional, take the backing off, and I'm going to put it just in the middle near its body, and then I'm going to. 
place it down she says but it won't go down there's the same with the other side take off the backing and Body's not sticking. Right, the reason I put them dimensionals on there is so that the wings do not go flat in the post. Once it comes out the post, it will, they will spring up a bit and then the person will know that they are loose. So. Right, we just got to add some pearls and gems. So. Randomly put three of these. What did I do with? Yeah, I did only put three and um, one there. And then I have some tiny pearls here. And these to the body. This card was cased off a um, YouTube. God, what's the name of the girl? Um, artful, no, artful stamping. No, I begin with a H. I shall write it in the description. I need to look. I need to get it right, so I shall look and put it in the description below. So there we have it. A beautiful, different butterfly card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell button, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.